I can recognize full sentences. Tell me, what can I help you with today? Um, uh, talk to a human. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. Okay, here's one for you. Hey, robot chick, eat my ass! <coughs> I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Oh, no, I just coughed. What are you doing? Charge $175. No, 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 no! Talk to a person, talk- Hello, this is Zachariah. How may I help you today? Yes, finally. Okay, yeah, I, I just need a quick refund. My my f connection flight, I get delayed. I didn't make it. I just deserve a refund. Oh, yeah, you just need to go on the website. The you, don't, you don't think I've already done that? I, that's why I'm calling you. You do it. Sir, I'm sorry you're frustrated. Then what do you, what do you do? If you'd like to go back to the main menu, press one. Otherwise, goodbye. What? Hey, hello, no, no. Do this is hung up on me? Is that allowed? I'm getting ghosted by real women and robot women! This is a new low! If you don't mind, sir, stand on the call after we disconnect for a quick Oh yeah! Survey. No, I'd I, you know, I've already been on the phone for 90 minutes. I'd love to stick around for a few more and do a freaking survey! If I have to talk to another customer service robot, I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, uh, Jake, I, I ordered a PlayStation 5 about six months ago. That's right. It didn't work. They're like, we'll fix it and send it back to you in a few weeks. Still don't have it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm talking to robots. I'm messaging robots. I'm talking to a person <laughs> like, there's, yeah, you should have it by now, but there's nothing I can do for you. Like, American robots, Indian robots, any yeah, type. <laughs> any, I need, yeah, I don't care what nationality. They're not helping me. It's a problem. So you still just can't get a video game. No. Huh. I'm, yeah, so... Customer service, it's the bane of my existence. I like how when companies are so big, they just like don't. If you want to call like Google to ask them something, uh -huh. they're like, we just don't have customer service. Yeah, you could chat with us, but even that, it's got, it's not going to go great. Oh. Yeah. That's the goal. Get so big that our, our listeners are like, <laughs> Can't hey, contact us. <laughs> I'd like you to talk about this. Like, we don't even take messages. No, we actually, yeah, mm -hmm. kind of a vacuum. We don't hear yeah. anything. No, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, correct Opinions is back. We are on the road filming this in a lovely Airbnb in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, yes. And, uh, we, we got another great episode. Here we go. Jake, what interferes with your little happy heart? Probably clothes that are too small. Mm, yep. It affects my mental health. Yep. I don't know what size to get sometimes. Large, XL. I know. I need Very some help. Very stressful. And I get stressed with that, among other things. And that is where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Um, I'm big, I've done therapy seriously before. I'm a big fan. Y'all, y'all, you've heard me talk about it on the pod. Uh, and BetterHelp is great. I've, I've no friends who try it out. They like it. You just connect with a great therapist uh, from the comfort of your own home. Workplace, easy, easy. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Uh, they help with all sorts of stuff: depression, stress, anxiety, you name it. So get BetterHelp today. We want you to start living a happier life. As a listener, you'll get ten percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com slash correct. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of the better of their mental health. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Kick off 2022 with a better checking account. <laughs> no monthly fees. I'll take it. Hey, chime. Ding, 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 ding. Chime. chime. Oh, okay, <clears throat> work on that later. Chime is a war winning app and debit card has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. Do I need to say more? I love Chime. They hooked it up. I don't want to deal with these crazy, like, what are these? What's going on here? These foreign fee monthly fees. Get it out of my head, man. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm paying here. Yeah. So make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. That's a lot of people. You can sign up. Uh, it only takes two minutes and does not affect your credit score. Get started. Chime.com slash Trey. That's Chime.com slash Trey. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancor America or straight Stride Bank NA, members FDIC, get fee-free transactions at any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone. Instant transfers transfers can be delayed. The recipient must use a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim frauds. Yeah. Let's get ritual, ritual. Uh, let's, let's get ritual, ritual. Let's get some protein now. Yes, ritual. Uh, protein powder. I'm a big fan. Ritual's Essential Protein is a delicious plant plant-based protein powder. Say that three times fast. Can't. Okay. Uh, three <laughs> that has three distinct formulas designed to meet the body's changing protein needs. I, I'm I'm a big fan of the of the protein powder, and Ritual's my new go-to. I love it. Yeah, gotta try it out, guys. It's uh, why wouldn't you try it out? Uh, you know, you get your money back if you don't like it. So mm -hmm. have at it, guys. Tastes great. You'll love it. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, so are you ready to shake up your protein ritual? Our listeners get 10% off during your first three months at ritual.com slash Trey. Uh, like you said, money back guarantee if you're not 100% in love. Visit ritual.com slash Trey today for 10% off your first three months. Correct opinion.
Okay, so, so dude, I really, my PlayStation is, I guess I've been on the road enough. Like, I, I've never forget you. I think I've, I've talked about this on the podcast a little. I can't remember if it's on the podcast or in person, um, but yeah. And I I was coming back from, we'd been knocking out a lot of tour dates in like November or something. And my like, PlayStation ooh. 5 was waiting. I was like, I can't you know wait what? to get home. You know, when you've like, you feel like you've really worked hard and you have a little treat. You're like, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit here and play this PlayStation 5 for a few Yeah, hours. I've earned it. Just goes black. I not, I'm plugging it in, doing everything, troubleshooting. They say we you got to send it in, we got to fix it, mm-hmm. and it might take four to six weeks because of COVID. <laughs> like, uh, time goes by, times go. The, it has now been three months. I've talked to guys. I've I've chatted with a robot. I've chatted with a real guy, and he's like, "Yeah, man, I'm, you know, I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming." <laughs> so let's let's we're gonna look at the status here because uh, you can do this. Here it is. Uh, check status. I've done this for a long time. Your system was received on October 29th. Is when they got it. <laughs> well, I mean, Halloween. That's, That's gonna uh, yeah. disrupt things. Halloween, then you got Thanksgiving. <laughs> then you got the holidays, and then you no one really wants to work that time of year. January is not a fun the time January, to work. January, you're like, I mean, the Omicron and yeah, yeah. Know. So next thing you know, it's Valentine's Day is around the corner. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, need to I try don't to have find plans. Yeah. Still received nothing. Yeah, we're looking at like a service thing. Like, you know when you put an order at Domino's and it's like, it's in the oven. It like, uh-oh. The, the was, next step is like pending, which means like something's happening. is yet to happen. I finally got a hold of someone last week and the guy was the like, oven. yeah, you should have it. He kind of rubbed it in. He's like, oh yeah, I'm seeing here something's wrong because we've, I mean, we've got a ton of systems in the fix that we've gotten out after we received it. <laughs> like, okay, well, thank Jeez, you. Dude. Wow, <laughs> awesome. You guys are killing it for everyone else. <laughs> and he was just like, just call us back in like a week and see... If it's better. Yeah. I feel like I that I like ordered some like clothes and I couldn't figure out why they hadn't come in yet. I'm like chatting with someone online about it. Um, not just someone online, someone in customer service. <laughs> I went to Craigslist. I went to men seeking men, uh, needing customer service issues. It's a weird part of the website. Yeah. And I'm just chatting with these people. online. No, I was chatting with a customer service person and like, here's what I did. And here's where the shirts are now. They're in Oregon. And he just goes, wow, that's weird. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah I know. So I live in Kansas. Katie and I, we were furnishing the house and I, I ordered something from Wayfair and a child popped out. Yeah, that is weird. I, I was like, nervous. customer service, I'm not sure this is what I, I ordered a <laughs> chandelier and you gave me a Chandler <laughs> and I won a refund and no one got back to me. So yeah, he's two now and man, he's a good kid. <laughs> he's a good kid. He's just got into soccer, which is fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was making that joke. I ordered Way like unfair. A, <laughs> <laughs> I ordered like a big furniture piece from Wayfair recently, and there we were trying to find like it's like two love seats back to back, but there should be like a back in the middle. Kind of to describe. Either way, we couldn't find this portion of the love seat in the recliner, and then we found this. How's it looking? I think we're good. Oh, okay, audio sure. we're, we're yeah, we're doing this on the go here. Anyway, we find this good. compartment in the box, and it's like this could be the backrest or this could be a four-year-old i was so nervous to open up the box and? um well i'll tell you what ended up happening is the people i was with had not heard of this wayfair conspiracy so it's like hope a kid doesn't pop out and they were like what i was like never mind yeah. <laughs> if you don't know the backstory like uh what's this guy talking about you guys think there's a child in here like this is a dark joke uh no i bet it's the back of the love seat it's a super weird oh thing yeah say. no Odds are, yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hillary Clinton's joke. not involved. Dumb joke. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you think's in this vaccine? Hillary's blood. You're like what? I, I think it's I mainly it's mr mRNA. Yeah, actually, I'm not quite sure what's in it, but <laughs> it's not that. Oh man. Uh, anyway, um, it was fine. Love seat works great. I get to sit in it once a week when I'm actually home, so that's fun. I love that buying a exciting. house and furnishing it to just leave constantly. Right, right, right. It's fun. Does it feel like home yet? A little bit. I have multiple rugs now. I think that's what really brought me over the edge. Now that I have three rugs, it's like, this is a home now. Yeah. This is a home. There's some, it's awesome. I kind of, because during COVID and stuff, it was very much, I very much felt like, get me out of my house, man. I work from home. I yeah. I hang out with my friends at my house. But now being home is like the best thing in the world. You're like, it's not bad. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm excited. We, Because we, because I have a show in Oklahoma tomorrow, and then we got rescheduled to Tulsa, Oklahoma, like Thursday. So then people are like, I mean, you're in Oklahoma. Your show's like three days later. You just want to stick around. I was like, no, I'm going to go back for 36 hours and come back. Yeah. It's home. That's man. awesome. Home's great. Also, I was wondering, maybe you told me that. I was like, I, I can't remember why Trey's just going to Oklahoma on a Monday. Now I yeah. remember. You have a show. Doing a little private thing. It'll be fun for a, a nonprofit there. Oh. Um, shout out OKC. Yeah. 
Sweet. Stay with mom and dad. It's going to be good. <laughs> They were at the show last night. We, dude, we had every parent in the building there last night. We had mm-hmm. your parents, Katie's parents, and my parents. Katie's birthday. Katie's was in birthday. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Whew, yeehaw. Yeah, so the fam was there. Um, I family, other family there. It was a good night. Fayetteville was was fun. Yes, there were some interesting parts of the show, but it made it more memorable. Antoinette, if you know, you know. <laughs> I saw someone tag me. There's like someone check on Antoinette, <laughs> but she was a sweetheart. If you're if you're listening, Antoinette, please email me or something. Sorry. God. Yeah. Sorry. sorry for the things we said. <laughs> My yeah. mom uh, took a video of it from the balcony and sent it to me like an hour ago. And I'm so excited to have footage of that now. Okay, good. Of course, my mom has like an iPhone 4, so it's not the best quality, but the audio is great. <laughs> the audio still works fine. It'll be kind of a thumb over a third of the frame. And it truly is. There's a little bit of the, you could see the balcony is in like the bottom third. Like mm-hmm. couldn't quite get the arms over <laughs> yeah, the balcony. Just a little lift. But my mom's small. She's frail, you know. And it was, did she like it? Did she, being a woman of probably similar age, did she, <laughs> or did she think we did okay? Yeah, I didn't hear any negative uh, feedback good. from her. Yeah. I heard negative feedback from other women in the lobby, uh, if I can tell you about that real quick. Mm. That's always good. Constructive so, criticism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, love it. Love mm-hmm. it, especially in the comedy space. I would love my subject of art form to be subjected to what you think uh, could be better. Oh, that mm-hmm. reminds me too. I saw we got a Jean Shorts uh, Facebook message last night. I was like, hey guys, love the stuff. One quick piece of advice. The big guy yells too much. And I just said, thank you for the advice. Appreciate oh, it. on the videos. I was talking yeah. about the show. I was like, no, Gene Schwartz I'm, I'm bigger than you. And are people starting to call me the big guy? Do they mean tall guy? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't look like a big, oh, uh, Brad, you know. And I was like, it's well, just funny that someone would be most like. people like it. Yeah. Hey, I know you're crushing it. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, but let me, I'm a mom of four. Can mm. I just give you, okay, anyway. Uh, like most shows, I go out into the lobby uh, just to see people, to see fans, to talk to people, take pictures, yada, yada, and uh, I notice these women are to the side at like a cocktail table. They're not in line to like meet me or take a picture. They're off to the side. So the whole time I'm talking to people, I'm kind of, it's on my mind. Like, what are they doing here? If they're not in line to meet me, why are they still in the lobby? I don't know. I get done saying hi to everyone. My parents are at the show. My roommate Isaac's at the show. I have so many people who I'm looking forward to seeing who've been hanging around and been so patient. And then these women come up to me. And they're like, so we are the MLM girls that Trey was talking to, which I was not out there during your show so i'm like oh oh i don't know who. okay there were two i i so i went you know those the rex who's been to the show know but there's a big shtick on mlms and i asked like anyone work for one and it's funny when some people most of the crowd gets like he's about to make fun of this, this is an easy target Both like Whoop, right here <laughs> loud and proud and i was like who we are okay what do you work for and they like it was Rodan Fields, of yep. course. And then I proceeded to just make fun of that. <laughs> and and then I, I guess they didn't see that coming. It's like, <laughs> like whoa, whoa, whoa! Can I, guys? We're gonna take a pre pause. I just want to congratulate <laughs> any small any business out here. <laughs> um, you know, this is not a joke. Just keep doing your thing. Okay, so it's them. <laughs> so I don't even know what they're referencing, but I can assume they're like, oh, you did some crowd work with them, or whatever. So it's like, oh, nice, cool. And they're like, we thought that. <sighs> We just we weren't not expecting to be the target of any jokes tonight, and I'll, and immediately I go well. I mean it's a comedy show, so you know everyone is the butt of a joke at some point. We didn't think you know we knew he was going to tell jokes for an hour, but we thought we'd be okay with a hundred percent of it, and and, and we weren't we in weren't, this tiny and he, some of it was us, and so yeah. Then they just continued to complain like just like I don't think Trey understands like this is a hard working like to like two women right here like we have worked hard to build what we have and i i cut them off because like hey, hey i didn't say any of that that's love, not even me you need to relay this to trey okay <laughs> i was like do Just you think that i me. said that well that's and, what's funny that's when people make a leap do it. what the joke was not like anyone knows the mlms are losers they're dumb and they have no money and none of them are no successful money. yeah the joke is like you're yeah you're killing it but you're DMing your friends. You DM to, your friends constantly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the leap. It's like, he made fun of golden doodles. I hope he knows. Um, I don't want to put my dog down. I love it. I'm like, whoa, I never said that. <laughs> I didn't I say that. Enjoy yeah. your dog, but I just was <laughs> making fun of it. Yeah. And it's comedy. And that's an issue, I think, with these days. Anyway, with people, an issue people have with comedy is like, everything's funny until it pertains to you specifically. It's like, whoa, 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 buddy. Across the line. It's like, well, you laughed at all the other stuff until it pertained to you. So they're just giving me all this uh, just feedback on, and it's all about stuff you said. I'm like, no, 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 we, hey, no, we love Trey. We love Trey. Just, you know, I don't know if he understands. I'm like, all this is about Trey. Like, I don't know. Do you want to talk about <laughs> Email the him. show? Or, yeah. And they're like, and another thing, 
why did he have to poke fun of white people? And that's all they say. I'm like, uh, I mean, do you want him to poke fun of other races? I mean, we were, I mean, between us, we were hoping he'd get after the Jews. <laughs> and so, you know, we were disappointed. Like, what, he left you, religion out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we were disappointed about that. We were, yeah, like, what do you expect? And that's have you what I ever said, seen I any like, of the videos? I was like, first of all, yeah, have you seen any of our content the before? Whole thing. Two, he's not going to like be like, gosh, Indian people have yeah. the weirdest accent. Like, yeah. you can't, like, why would he say something like that on stage? You know, like, of course, yeah. you got to make fun of white people. Yeah. <laughs> so then they're upset about that. Once again, I cut him off. I literally am waiting my hands. I go, that, that, hey, I didn't say any of this. Once again, this isn't even me. You're you're coming to the wrong customer service guy. This yeah, isn't even yeah. my thing. It's I not just, my company. I want to talk to my parents. You know, like, <laughs> geez, this is so frustrating. And then, so I think we're finally done. And they're like, it just, like, when when did you guys start? And I was like, uh, like a year ago, we started doing comedy. Like, no, 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 the videos. And I was like, oh, I started helping them try out like three years ago. Me, once again, wrongly assuming they want to talk about me. What am I thinking? Of course, they don't want to talk about me. And then, so for three years, you've allowed him <laughs> to make fun of white people. Well, they're like, no, 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 no. When did Trey start making videos? And I was like, oh, on Vine, probably like 2013. So You're like, being so nice. You're like, still going. Trey, yeah. I think he was, you know, he's raising a good family. Yeah, I'm like, let's, how can, far back you want to go? Let's pull up his Wikipedia. Let me just read it to you. It's so like, wow. So almost 10 years ago, huh? And I was like, mathematically, yes, I guess that's true. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know... Trey, so Trey's worked all this time, almost 10 years, making videos, building a following. And now finally, he's able to get to a point where all these people want to come see him at the show. And I was like, yeah. They're like, that's what we're doing with Rodan and Fields. We have... <laughs> You're like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, again, this where yeah. was. Okay. Like, Stop bringing it up. They're like, we've worked year after year after year. It doesn't happen overnight. You guys know it better than anyone, right? It does not happen overnight. We've I literally worked... mentioned that in the bit. Yeah, like, yeah. It'll, it'll take years to build. Uh-huh. Like... Kind of like a pyramid. <laughs> it takes a long time. <laughs> and it's, I appreciate that. Yeah, they, they Rodan and Fields juked me there. I really thought that That's we were great. talking about your journey. And they're like, yeah. just like Rodan and Fields. Um, Wait, so you, so Trey was doing his thing for a while and then you came under him and now you kind of have now, your own following. And now Brad and Derek kind of work for you guys. So, so <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Nancy. She <laughs> is under my... <laughs> With Rodan and Field, you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, by the end of it, we just end up bonding. We realize we yeah. basically work in the same industry. Wow. Like, okay. This is awesome. You know what? Dude, I'm it. Just, I'm it. Yeah. I, yes, how and do I invest? That is how Jake <laughs> started in Rodan and Field. I'm going to need some time off. They are incredible saleswomen. I want to drive a Mercedes. Hey, look, I want to wake mm -hmm. up in my pajamas. They're Show very up, convincing. Yeah. Show up in a white, uh, a pink Mercedes one day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Company car. I don't know. Shout out to Fayetteville. I have a butterfly tattoo. I don't know. It happens so fast. Yeah, people. Uh, but yeah, I love the feedback. People get fired up, man. What have you seen all the Joe Rogan stuff? Yeah, dude. I it's they're they're coming for him. He's he's about to just get under fire for a long time. Yeah, it's which I feel like he doesn't. He's in a weird spot because I feel like he doesn't really want to be. I don't know how hard he wants to battle to be like the next. He's like battling with CNN and Fox or something. Yeah. I think he was just like I'm just trying to do a podcast. It's crazy, kind of the situation he finds himself in, like. Mm -hmm. Probably started off in a similar way to the way we started a podcast off. Like, just like it would be fun yeah. to interview different people. And next thing you know, because he's like pretty early onto the podcast game and he's a good interviewer. Next thing you know, he is like bringing in these numbers that are like its own media conglomerate. Mm -hmm. And now they're trying to take him down. Yeah, they are. And it's crazy. It's Spotify's in a weird spot because they gave him like half a billion Spotify, dollars. I saw they just, they're like backing him with the first misinformation stuff and then the the new thing someone compiled him saying the n-word have you seen this Ooh, i haven't seen that but i guess it was all this was years ago he was he wasn't using it he was like quoting things so he'd be like oh yeah and this you know i think one of them was like isn't it crazy 20 years ago this guy had a joke where he said blank 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 oh he was almost it. condoning he, or not he was just kind of like like state like quoting things not he wasn't like calling anyone that or saying yeah. it so he explained that but i mean there's just so much footage of him over 15 years you know they're coming through it and they're oh yeah so spotify removed like 100 episodes of his podcast oh wow over how i get because i guess they've uploaded them all of like little things here and there that he said so it's an impossible situation it is crazy and i don't really even have a very opinionated or strong stance on any of this it's just crazy to like the times we find ourselves in where it's like, yeah, 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 no, free speech. Well, kind of. 
Well, it's it, scary. To, well, because also we need to be like careful with our speech. Yeah, we uh, need to be like informative or like or, deleting things. I saw the argument of like, I don't know. It's helpful when you read something two hundred years ago and like, you know, maybe white people were doing horrible things to black people. It's like we shouldn't r- remove that book. It's like this is helpful to know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like we're figuring this out. So it's like maybe nine years ago someone said something crazy on Rogan. Maybe we just let that stay because we'd be like. Wow, nine See years ago we were all saying we were wrong things we aren't saying now. Uh, exactly. I just can't wait for our grandchildren listening to this podcast and in the sixty minutes we say something <laughs> that is horrifying. Fifty years from now, probably. I mean, we've talked about that. We're like, could we? Ten years from now, two years from now, whatever. Like, could it be crazy and appropriate to like put on women's clothing and dress mm-hmm. as a woman? Like, are you going to look like you were doing the modern blackface? Oh, I have no doubt. Like they're putting no on a doubt. cardigan will be so shameful. I have no doubt <laughs> that in 40 years that it won't be allowed for men to like, yeah. Act as anything other than white men. Yeah. Like you have to be. That's that very character. possible. Or like if, if Jews, I just said Jews, like that becomes a slur one day. You can't even call like, him that. Look what he said. Well, it's not it's, right now. It's called members of Judaism, you know, or whatever. Like you can't even. Uh, it's going to get weird. Yeah. So. so we're just going to join it while we can and until the MLMs come for us or. Yeah. Uh, we get canceled. I think that our country was founded upon saying things we didn't really mean at the time. Now that I think about it, mm-hmm. like, like I'm just thinking now, like, is it the, I'm not smart enough to know if it was the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution, but in one of those documents, it says all men it's are... the same thing. Oh, that's, see, that's why I get yeah, confused. Yeah, it's people get confused. With that. <laughs> Gettysburg Address, they're it's all, all synonymous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Geneva Convention, it's all, it's a part of the Constitution. It's all in there. Yeah, it's a chapter. <laughs> um, but there's the line in there, it's all men are created equal. It's like, wow, yes, so true. It's like, but we still enslaved people mm-hmm. for another, you know, Equally. 150 years after that. Yeah, so did We're we believe like, that? Or? Just got to write it down. <laughs> yeah. Four score and seven years ago. Yeah. What sport was the score for? I've never figured it out. <laughs> four, four square. square. Do you mean to say four square, Abe? Yeah. In a speech impediment. Abe Lincoln. If I got. Good guy. Yeah. People. I'm getting hit. I Ever since I did a bit on my story of like, stop sending me white guys with brown beards and like is this you people now i look like Abe Lincoln to people i'm getting it constantly just every president we've ever I had i had someone a fan meet me she's like uh meet sometime over the last few days i was like hey are you trey yeah she's like were you in an ihop in um pennsylvania a month ago i'm like no she's like oh yes just- you that had to have been you i'm like no it wasn't she's like great well i just she's lost like, you 50 don't, bucks yeah. yeah i just lost i swear it was you you don't you don't cook part time in an IHOP in Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's like, oh, you thought I was employed there? Yeah, I'm no. not just eating there. Mm, okay, interesting. <laughs> like, I mean, you make videos. Surely you've got another job, or <laughs> you know, that is funny. Yeah, I'll get DMs like that too. It's like, are you and Trey at Six Flags San Antonio right now? It's like literally on my Instagram. You went on my Instagram to DM me on my Instagram story. It says that I'm in Tulsa. There's no way <laughs> You're currently that could be true. Show. I wish I was at Six Flags. I had a. a we you know, met a lot of fans over the last few days. Great. I had a one, once in a blue moon, I'll get a bad experience. Yeah. And you know, it's simply, you know, a, a late night situation. They're, they're intoxicated. Yeah. So we were out, we were in Fayetteville, which is a very college town. So we're at this super college bar. I mean, there's no bars anywhere that aren't like, it's Dixie just, Street. yeah, just bombarded with college kids. So we're at one and this, uh, they appear college aged, you know, probably okay. early twenties. This dude comes up, he goes, yo, okay, no clue who you are, <laughs> oh, God. but sh- my girl, big fan, you know, so I'm like, all right, all right, she's like, um, there she is. And I can tell he's kind of doing like a, you need to walk across the bar and go see her. And I was like, here I am. So yeah, like, it's a uh, weird thing to command someone yeah, in public. He's like, like, she wants a photo, dude. I'm like, I'm happy to take one. Yeah, awesome. And we're just hey, kind of standing there talking. Yeah. yeah, he's like, kind of pauses and he goes, What's, uh, she comes over finally. We're gonna photo. And she's freaking out. She's they're both very, they're both very drunk. She's screaming and kind of making a scene. I'm like, okay, it's nice, but you know, ease up. And then he's like, they're like, what are you doing in town? I was like, we had a show. She's like, what? You went to a show? I'm like, no, I had I did a show. She's like, what show? I'm like, what comedy show? And she and then the guy was like, did you go to the Arkansas game tonight? I'm like, no, I just told no, you I, I did show. a show. And he's like, are you going to the big game on Tuesday? I'm like, no, I don't live here. I'm like, what is this conversation? And then she was like, pulled out my Insta story. The big game on. Tuesday. She like pulled up my website that said like Arkansas like tonight. She's mm-hmm. like, is this what you're talking about? Like, yeah. She's like, yeah. where was? I was just like, what? 
And I, I'm sure I just started getting kind of curt. And rude. I was like, do you want the photo? Like, what is this? <laughs> what are we talking about? And then she kind of stopped. She's like, you know, you need to be humble in real life. You know, oh, she's, no way. She kind of flips the script like, wow, famous guy thinks he's too good for us. I'm like, no, you're just, we're having an incoherent conversation. <laughs> it was a nightmare, dude. She's like, and then she like started, she was started to do like a drunk girl upset, white girl wasted upset thing. She's like, Yikes. I just don't. We got the photo. She's like, I just really, I don't know. And then Katie, I guess, was at the table over with her parents and they were sitting by him and she overheard them. I told her the story. She's like, yeah, we overheard them. She was like, wow, I do not like him anymore. Like to her table. Oh, (laughs) wow. Oh and my she, I guess she was like, why didn't he come to me for the photo? She was telling her friends this. She's like, I was just like, wow. Um, I love the rationale. Any celebrity yeah. who doesn't come to me, mm-hmm. I'm no longer supporting. <laughs> they, why won't they come to me? It was great. But then the, the, it ended. The guy goes, bro, Arkansas basketball, fun team to follow. <laughs> and then he walked off. I was like, okay, man, you really want me to go to these games? Fun team to follow. It was busy tonight. It's like I'm you go to the school. Tuesday. Yeah. Of course you think they're fun. <laughs> That's fun how we open. He's like, he's like... Huge game Tuesday. You go and I was like, I don't. Why would you think I'm? Yeah. Or that you might like, well, how big of a game is it? Yeah. I love SEC college basketball. Oh, please so, tell me. That was a funny one. That's fun. Hey, you better. You better. Help. You better. Help me online from the convenience of my home, home with my mental health. What's that? It's affordable. And we love it. BetterHelp uh, <laughs> helps you with all sorts of areas. Um, it is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Uh, they help. They, have, they can help you with sleeping issues, grief, family conflicts, anger problems. Or just because. Or just because. It's healthy. Therapy is great. Work on your mind. Work on your mental health. Who doesn't love that? We love BetterHelp. You will too. Get it today. It's affordable. It's easy. Do it from the comfort of your own home. It's confidential, all that good stuff. So uh, we have an offer for y'all. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash correct. That's right. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health again. That is betterhelp, betterhelp.com slash correct. It is a new year, which means it's time to leave behind the things that don't serve you. Ding, ding. Like overdraft fees. Oh, do I hear a chime? Or your ex-wife. <laughs> a chime <laughs> with chime it is which is an award-winning winning app and debit card you can save that hard-earned paper without paying overdraft fees elder members can overdraft up to two hundred dollars on debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with absolutely no overdraft fees doesn't get much better than that does chime, not they hooked us up with some it's easy bada bing bada boom you have to deal with these monthly fees these hidden fees don't stop getting bamboozled for that no thanks so make your first good decision in 2022 and join over 10 million people using chime sign up only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score get started at chime.com slash tray that's chime.com slash tray banking services provided by and debit card issued by the bank or bank or stride bank in a members fdic eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals limit starts at 20 dollars and may be increased up to 200 dollars by chime see chime.com slash spot me obviously you know, I, I hate to be a basic bro, but I love shaking up a good protein shake. <laughs> I do. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. <laughs> I try to get some muscles. Uh, Ritual is my new go-to, go-to protein powder. That's right. I've been using it too. It's great. It's awesome. It's nice. Uh, it, 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 Ritual, it's, it's not, hey, it's not just about muscles. Protein helps support bone health and sa- uh, satiety too. Mm-hmm. Um, proteins, they, they need change. So it's important to choose a mix for different life stages. Ritual's essential protein is a delicious plant-based protein powder with three distinct forms formulas designed to meet the body's changing protein needs. I love uh, Ritual. They've been hooking it up. It, it's, it tastes great, too. Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, consuming the Daily Shake 18 Plus, and I love how good it tastes. You guys know I'm a picky eater. Trey and my friends always make fun of me because I like vanilla ice cream. Well, guess what? Ritual has a vanilla flavor, and I love it. So take that. Take that. Ritual. Get you some today. Um, you heard it here first. Ready to shake up your protein? Ritual? You see what they did there? <laughs> my listeners get, yes. uh, our listeners get 10% off during your first three months. Okay, oh. just go to ritual.com slash Trey. Ritual even offers a money back guarantee if you're not 100% in love. So you got nothing to lose. Go for it. Visit ritual.com slash Trey today for 10% off your first three months. You know, Jake and I have been traveling a ton. Yes, we uh, do it a lot. Finally getting around a lot of hotels, a lot of flights, all that. It's fun to get out, out and about. Our go-to is Priceline. 
Priceline. You've heard of Priceline. Um, you know, right? In a lot of ways, it feels like a lot of people they're get, they're uh, we're getting less, less social interaction, less sunlight, less steps, all that good stuff. But with Priceline, you can save up to sixty percent on your favorite hotels. Oh, and you get exclusive deals on rental cars, flights. <laughs> yeah, I like to use Priceline because you guys know I like to travel. I like to go on vacations. Not only is it fun to travel, but it's fun to know you're getting a good deal on your travel. Like, wow, I'm really sticking it to the man here. Uh, yeah. Who, who doesn't want more walks on the beach? More talking to strangers? I don't see a single hand up. Well, I don't, I don't yeah. love talking to strangers, if I'm being honest. But walks <laughs> on the beach are awesome. Fun in the sun? Mm-hmm. Maybe a little less time with the in-laws. <laughs> you're telling me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at Priceline, every trip is a big deal. So when you're ready to book your next one, uh, go to Priceline.com. Priceline.com has the best deals that will help you get more out of it. Better bang for your buck. Yeah. Flights, cars, lodging, whatever. Check where it you, out. Where are you going next? Um, might go to Timbuktu. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful in February. Yeah. That's what I've heard. <laughs> yep. That yep. will be gorgeous. So, hey, y'all. <laughs> maybe I'll see you guys there. Oh, maybe see you on Priceline. Hey, well, yeah, we don't talk to strangers, but, <laughs> you know, wave. Priceline.com, 60% off. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Priceline.com. Check it out. Um, after the show, here's a conversation I had. This is uh, with my friends, but I think you especially and just this podcast will appreciate it. Um, so yeah, like I said, my roommate Isaac was there. I had a bunch of friends at the show. So we all go out afterwards. We're hanging out. Keep talking. I'm going to get some more water. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm talking with my roommate Isaac and we're talking about like a, a, a date that he had recently been on. I was like, that's fun. You know, whatever. I'm like, dude, we need to go on a double date sometime. It's been a while. And I was like, Oh, yeah. I was like, I guess we did double date a while back. Uh, that time we went to Putt-Putt. I was like, who was that girl that I took? I was like, I remember who you took when we went Putt-Putt. Who's the girl that I was on a double date with? And he's like, dude, are you serious? I was like, yeah, who was that girl? He's like, you took your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she, okay. okay, I don't, I want to like, you, he just doesn't let you, he doesn't answer yet. You're like, I swear, who was that girl? Because she, I remember she was pretty cute. Um, <laughs> and we had a nice time. We had so much in common. We, she was similar, from my town, which was like a similar small world. Similar upbringing. Mm-hmm. Very similar upbringing. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that girl? I remember... It, she, everything yeah. was fun until I leaned in for the kiss, and then yeah. it was weird. Yeah. But I remember having a fun time. Oh, what was her name again? What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> was it Caitlin? That's my sister's name. <laughs> I knew. It, that was that was what I thought was weird, but you know, I get over that. That's amazing. I straight up was like, dude, yeah, that was a really fun night. I was like, yeah, we should double date more. Who, who did I bring? I was like, are you serious? You're actually, <laughs> he's like, it was your sister. I was like, uh, uh-oh. You want to double date with me and my sister? Dude, stop calling it a double date. <laughs> Hanging out with your sister and my girlfriend. What? What? There's two of us, two of you. It's, it's a double, double date. date. <laughs> Let's get it on the calendar again. <laughs> You're like helping her out with her form on Putt-Putt. Yeah. yeah you wanna, Let me get behind you. Know, you. Really, you know. It's actually more hips than you think. <laughs> Let me... Of a swaying motion. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so fantastic. That happened about 12 hours ago. That nice. was uh, embarrassing. You know? Good, good. Your sister, has she, fi- she found love yet? She's found like. That's good. You know, it's on her yeah, way. I think it's good. You guys are. She's been dating a guy for a while now, so. Jealous. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting, Which getting ticked is, off. You know. Um, hard for me. I don't know. I don't know if he's ever taken she, her putt-putting. Yeah. She, so. she putt-putts with him now. <laughs> Whatever. Um. <laughs> But so yeah, I figured the the erectees would appreciate that. There will be times at shows where like I'll be doing a bit, and I'll be like, yeah, I was on a date with this girl one time, and someone will yeah like your sister. Really? Yeah, that's happened twice. <laughs> it's happened twice. I'm like, well, they listen to correct opinions, <laughs> and of course, everyone else in the audience is like, that's a weird. That's not yeah. funny at yeah, all. That okay, a, what a weirdo. And of course, I don't address it, but in my head, I'm thinking like, geez, that is a yeah. confident recti out there. I like when we first started shows. I would tell, I told the listeners like, yell recties in the house, and then. <laughs> A few shows in, they were screaming that. I was like, all right, Ooh, please stop doing that. Pretty actually. distracting. I don't know why I asked you to do that. <laughs> Thank you for doing as I asked, but yeah, stop. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Your sister. Your sister. But the show's <laughs> been good this week. The show's we've gotten to do. I guess we've only gotten to do two so far. Yeah, since we taught, we, uh, the great, I mean, I, I posted my story. People loved it. The, uh, me just, uh, I mean, Austin, Texas shut down and there wasn't just a lick of like, dangerous road conditions i mean it really wasn't like at first i was like okay texas will shut down for anything and then at a certain point i was like okay the trees do have ice on them Mm -hmm. like nothing was bad happen i don't think like electricity went out or anything Mm -hmm. the roads never got that bad but there was a little bit of a legitimate shutdown but for the most part i was like 
It was crazy. It felt like quarantine. We were the only people in downtown Austin, it Texas. Did. It felt like a little couple quarantine days. Yeah. It shops was like, were closed. We nothing was open. Posted it up. But uh, we rescheduled. TreyKennedy.com slash tour for tickets. Tulsa and Austin are this week. Yes. Thursday, Friday. Tulsa, um, Austin. Unfortunately, you know, you had people refund because they can't make the rescheduled date. So tickets are available. Tulsa was sold out. Now there's some available again. Okay, that's fun. So go with Tulsa tickets. And then there's uh, tickets to Austin. So it's going to be fun. And then we get to go to Austin when it's 70 degrees. Yes. Which is <clears throat> always what you want. I doubt we will find ourselves this week in Austin walking to a grocery store because it's our only option for food. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> We've got Literally everything up. was closed. So like, I guess we'll just walk to HEB, mm -hmm. which I don't even know what that stands for. It sounds like a type of AIDS or something. Yeah, hub. Did you, did you get the hub? Yeah. I'm it H -E -B not positive. Good this year. Yeah. yeah. H -E -B positive, man. It's not Prayers good. up. Yeah. Prayers up. Prayers up, man. It was kind of fun though. It felt like quarantine vibes. We were just stuck in a house. Me, you and Katie just shopping cart to watch Taken. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a conversation about how awesome Taken was. We're like, let's watch it right Should we now. We put it on. I'm also have to, I have to confess something to the listeners. I am a, I've been shoplifting basically really at different Airbnbs will we'll, a movie will pop on our head that we want to watch oh, that's oh. only available to rent for three ninety nine, and someone's account is on the Airbnb and I just buy it and You're I owe three people three separate people I don't know who they are where they are but I owe them three ninety nine, mm -hmm. and it's starting to weigh on me <laughs> yeah it's gonna so, add up um, it's gonna add up I wonder if they would just take a five star review as payment if that's like kind of worth three ninety nine to them you know maybe you can make it up to them Although I don't know if they earned their five star review. There was that one that was just like, no shoes. No, sh take them off. Take them off outside. I know it's 10 degrees outside. Take your shoes off. A lot the other, of Airbnb is worried about that. The other Airbnb was like, faucets running. I don't want the oh, yeah. pipes to freeze. We were in Austin. It was like 31 degrees. She's calling me like, run, drip the faucets, <laughs> all of them. Like, okay, okay, okay. People Which, are traumatized, man. The science of that, I think, confuses both of us a little bit. It, yeah, I don't know how that works. I guess that helps dripping it because like all the time in Kansas City it gets below freezing and we never drip the faucets. Right. I don't understand. Texas, they're just like, should we insulate this? They're like, no. I don't think we'd need to do that. I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> houses are built or any of that works. Yeah, someone listening to this is just like furious. Like you don't guys. know why. The well, yeah, you don't know how to record a podcast. <laughs> yeah. And upload it to Spotify in Wichita. So like us, who's the dummy? So take that. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I owe people, I'm a criminal, and I'm worried about it. I'm on the run, is what it feels like. I think they're kind of asking for it, though. They set themselves up. They sign into Amazon Prime on their TV and an Airbnb. They're lucky we only rented one movie. Yeah. You're lucky we like, used our Netflix yeah. for the rest of it. Could have bought a whole season of Survivor. <laughs> yeah. Not even rent. Buy. Buy. I want to own this. 50 bucks. Forever. <laughs> we, uh... Yeah, we watched Taken, which was great. I had a lot more of that movie memorized than I thought I did. Uh, I guess I've seen that a lot. And then we watched The Tinder Swindler. Tinder Swindler is... Which is fascinating. Fascinating. I followed him on Instagram afterwards, and he deleted me. So I'm upset at him, too. Oh, yeah. Did you make fun of MLMs? <laughs> I don't know what I did. That's kind of what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, this is not cool. I have to work hard. Yeah, I don't know what he, I did to upset I mean, him. Impressive guy. Just con He's running a Ponzi scheme for for swindling women on Tinder. Yeah, it's not necessarily catfishing because he is what he truly looks like. He is a good looking guy, but the details of his life are made up. So he's not actually this rich guy. His lifestyle's all um, a facade. But what's impressive, me and Katie all couldn't get over the organizational techniques of this guy. It's gotta oh, be yeah. phenomenal. He is, he is a he's true like, gifted <laughs> man. He's dating like five women at once. And not only, I mean, it's got to be confusing. One, just they all look alike. They're all like Eastern European blonde women, mm -hmm. blonde white women. You got to be confusing just knowing who's who. And then like he knows, the, you know, each of their names, each of their stories, inside jokes with each of them. Like, how's he doing this? Or are these just the dumbest women in the world? And he's, he's like, he keeps calling me, <laughs> you know, the wrong name. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. He's cute like that. He's cute like that. We <laughs> do that. We have pet names. His exes. He, I, <laughs> I mean, just this year. And he's, he's. Having them give him money, and then he's buying all sorts of Gucci and convertibles. I mean, where does he find the time to do all the shopping? <laughs> or just, like, the closet space, and they go to different places. I mean, he's got a... That's my deal sometimes. It's like, it'd be so cool to own a boat, but then you gotta... Where do I... 
how do I choose what boat? And where do I buy the boat? And where do I Which keep the marina boat? do I keep? Yeah, how far away is the, the marina boat? from where how, I live? How, how do I keep up with the boat? I got to winterize the boat. Winterize? What does that I've mean? Gotta, yeah, I've got to get it in and out of the water. And then I'm uh, next thing you know, I'm like, I don't want a boat. I don't want a boat. Yeah. And this guy's got jets. He's got cars. He's got outfits. He's got several women, all by different names. Yeah. It's an incredible feat. It's hard to buy. I mean, I don't do great buying a t-shirt online. You know, I'm like, ah, it didn't fit the way I thought. Oh, it's a little different color. Yeah, sometimes buying I'm a large, boat? sometimes I'm an X. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like maybe I just, I'm just not even going to buy it. Yeah. So I don't know how you buy all that. How do you even pick out a Ferrari, the, the type of Ferrari you want? I'd be like, ah, I should take it back because it's not the color I want. But mm -hmm. that's going to be like half a Saturday. So mm -hmm. I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. I'll just, uh, I don't know. Give it to Goodwill, I guess. Yeah. Drop it off at Goodwill. But yeah, it is. It's a pretty interesting documentary if you were also iced in in austin and have nothing else to do mm -hmm. that's only yeah that's the only time i'd recommend that's why it. it's a good documentary is yeah. there is not a lot yourself. else going on nothing else to do <clears throat> we um, uh also that day i guess it was the day after we just quickly wrote a little like 45 second video like this seems fun uh we don't i don't know if we've ever uploaded a 45 second video to youtube before and it's one of the top like three most viral videos we've ever made in our lives. Trending page on YouTube. Yeah, made the trending time. page. Uh, we just shot it outdoors in the cold on the porch of this Austin Airbnb for like That's good. three minutes. States for people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yes. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. So thanks for Thank watching you. it, liking it, whatever. It's always the best sometimes. Some of those random videos that we spend 10 minutes making. You're like, oh, cool. Great. Great. People love when you make fun of Texas. Yeah. It's hanging fruit. It's similar to like the Cowboys. Like the entire NFL can agree on one thing. And it's like, man, it's fun to make fun Texas, of the Cowboys. Texas, you do it to yourself. Yeah, you're you so prideful. You so much. Yeah. And then, you know, you get an inch of ice and you can't operate. You know, you you, you bragged too much. Yeah, sorry. Um, but I do think, I've always thought it's funny. To, it's weird to take so much pride where you live. Because, I, I mean, the amount of DMs I got, like, check this out. I'm in Minnesota with 30 <laughs> inches of snow. And I just went on a jog or you're like, you live in a place where it's snowed 30 inches. So you're still, I mean, <laughs> you chose Austin's this. still probably better, but yeah, I think <clears throat> yeah, we're all aware of that. But my ages, I remember they're like, we're trying to book you Southern places in the winter to avoid oh, this. Great. Yeah. Atlanta, Austin. But my argument is get, get me up to North Dakota in January. <laughs> they figure out how to get the job done. We won't have a show canceled then. Yeah. People will show up. They'll walk. Yeah, the old, the old snow dog there, and that's what I'm doing. Fargo show. When's it? When is it? February 27th. You're I think your Spirit Airlines or s Snow Dogs. <laughs> it's uh, it's Snow Dogs. Spirit there, Snow Dogs back. Okay, you have a layover and then yeah, layover and like Whitefish and then you Snow Dog to yeah Fargo. Okay. It's downhill from Fargo to Kansas City, so it just makes more sense to take the dogs down. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see it's Fargo in the winter. Sorry, it's like next week. Uh, late February, so in like three weekends. Let's go. So, you doing like how long's your set? Uh, I think like 20, 25 minutes. It's great. So, <sighs> for the good people of Florida. Should be fun. I hope Antoinette comes. Good. I, try. I might pay her yeah. to come up there. You should. Do a little crowd work she with her. Just again. join the crew. We just yeah. make fun of her every night. We we brought this woman up on stage last night, Antoinette, and here's I'll say two things. One, she did not want to come up there. So I get that she might have been a little embarrassed. Her husband was pointing at her and Trey's like, this girl wants to come up. Yep. Get her. <laughs> her husband's pointing at her. And so it took her a while to get on stage. Finally get her up there. But, however, she was the one who offered up the most pivotal information of the night. We were talking to her. Like, what do you do? Because initially we're like, what does your husband do? And she's like, I don't know. Something with a computer. Something with a computer. And so that was going to be my target of like, that was going to be the punchline. But then... She said something else, and she's like, and I have kids. We're like, great, let's move on. She's like, do you want to know their ages? I'm like, uh, sure. 19, 16, and 1. And out loud, onto the microphone, I go, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was like, there's my punchline. There it is. And so you can just imagine the, the things that Trey and mm -hmm. I said afterwards via improvised song. I mean, she's... It was awesome. She, I mean, she is, um, what is it, Rebecca from the Genesis in real life. <laughs> from the Bible. I mean, it's like, uh, surely we're done having these. <laughs> God's like, I'm going to give you another. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's not even possible. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay. God's like, try me. Chandler has arrived. <laughs> what a wonderful. It is amazing. Yeah, it's tough because I've, you've got to really be confident, you know, and I, I don't want to, it's tough, especially with women, but clearly, you know, she was 40 plus years old being that's, conservative. Yeah, generous. She had a one year old, which is just an amazing thing to do. But yeah, but it's tough because I've had I've made those mistakes early on where I'd be like, oh, we got a little mom, mom daughter here. And they're <laughs> like, we're sisters. And it's like, uh. so I've, I've learned to like never, ever. But sometimes you just got to do it. I've had a couple where 
you know it's going to be funny if, if everyone in the place can know their age. So I'll be just like, how old are you? Uh-huh. To like 60-year-old couple. Yeah. It's a very rude thing to do, but. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you can just say whatever you want up there. <laughs> yeah. MLMs, just be a monster. It was great. It was great. So, Antoinette, thanks for being a good sport. I've heard poor uh, tour manager Tom and some, uh, I've learned this too, in, the, in like the meet and greets where you'll meet like, you know, uh, like four women will come up. And it appears to be like mom, mom, daughter, daughter. Okay. But I'm, I'm never going to be like, oh, we got, we got mom, daughter, What's night, going or? on? We want a picture with just the kiddos. So you know, you're like, this is my little sister, you jerk. You know, you're like, mm. <laughs> so I've never done it. But Tom is real confident. He'll just be like. You want to get in there, Mom? <laughs> he's on that every time, and he's been wrong probably six times, <laughs> and it doesn't deter him. Let's go get in there, Mom, and she'll be like, mm, like on her breath, where I can hear, she's like, mm, definitely not her mom. Uh, <laughs> I love just taking a Tom. stab at it. Like oh. he just gets further and further. <clears throat> All right, you want to get in there, forty-seven-year-old Mom? Weigh yeah. about one hundred fifty pounds. You want come to get on. in there? Hey, hey, come on. Hey, size hey. six. You want to get in there? We are in Arkansas, huh? Get in there, you hog. <laughs> come on. Uh, excuse Just me. Saying insecurities about them. Hey, get in there, split ends. Come All on. right, let's get a picture of Trey. Hey, you need to hold you up there, Grandma. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm 38. Hey, let's get Mom and Grandma Walker. All right, maybe mm-hmm. we'll speed them up a little bit. This will be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's good. <laughs> hey, let's get uh, yeah, let's get rhinoplasty in there. She could use one. Man, let's get I, big it was, freckle. It's funny to be in a college town. I didn't know it. Like college kids. You you could give me show me a college kid and be like this person is your age or they're twelve and I'd be like <laughs> I believe it I don't yeah. know it's it's a weird thing happening in our culture where and the, I mean the conversation you had with those people last night sounds like they could have been twelve yeah so yeah. what you do tonight I did a show so did you go to the basketball game no I had a show I don't know guy had a full beard he's probably like nineteen I'm like how is this <laughs> happening man he probably looked like you were looking in the I mirror had, probably remember when I was nineteen I just had a little kind of a neared and couldn't really grow a mustache I just looked like uh, I don't know like a like a like Jersey Amish, Shore bad guy. Like an Amish bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Like a breaking Amish kid. They're like, stop shaving your mustache. I went to a coffee shop yesterday with some friends in Arkansas, and there were some like Mennonite Amish dressed people in front of us. You know, you know the look, whatever. Just kind of old fashioned dressed, bonnets or whatever. And my buddy <laughs> leans over to us and he's like, hey, are those people in front of us, are they pilgrims? <laughs> He's like, I, I forgot past? the word. I was like, you you use the word pilgrims? He's like, no, what is the... Uh, I was like, it's not pilgrim. Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock. <laughs> yeah, pilgrims? honest to God, he's like, are these people pilgrims? Yeah, I'm I was sorry. like, can we get a photo? I've they, never met a pilgrim before. <laughs> like, get away from me, dude. Do you did you know Pocahontas personally? What was that yeah, like? What was that? Was, were they, what, was she really in love with John or was it more of a hostage situation? <laughs> How accurate was the movie? Mm-hmm. I want it to be accurate. Colors of the wind. Have you ever seen those? Uh huh. Is that true? <laughs> We're allowed to call it that. <laughs> Are those pilgrims? Are they pilgrims? They just hear them. They're like, oh my god. Like, no, to... we just make our own furniture. Yeah. That's the only difference. Are they on the Oregon? This is far from the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Do you think they? Yeah. Look, it's settlers. Do you think they have dysentery? <laughs> Probably not, dude. Get hey, grab that banana. <laughs> Let's get up to, Yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot he asked that. Are they pilgrims? Are Just they pilgrims? being completely serious. Couldn't think of the word. You never know. Um, I don't I, know. I uh, like to ask the rectees this. I was trying a new joke because Katie, the a funny little thing in our relationship, Katie, uh, red velvet cake was always a, a personal favorite of mine. Yeah. It's a beautiful cake. Beautiful Tasty. cake. Tasty. It's oh, bright yeah. red. Yep. You don't know. I mean, what's happening there, but it's very pretty. Mm-hmm. And Katie's like, I don't eat red velvet because it's chocolate cake with red food coloring. That's all it is. Hold on. Yeah. And I was like, really? It, but I'm, she's like, so just eat, I'll eat chocolate cake. But that annoys me. I'm like, just eat the red velvet cake. I mean, <laughs> there's icing on top of it that's green on your chocolate cake. That's not bothering you. Yeah. And I remember I said that on stage and I, I, I got people, girls being like, I literally heard some like, no. So I was like, am pan- I wrong? Panicky. And I was like, oh, that's the last thing you want to do is go on stage and like confidently say something that's just inaccurate. It's not. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, but I was, I just, uh, yeah, Rexy's let me know. I feel like people don't know that. Yeah. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, dude, that, speaking of things, sometimes we get on stage and you don't know what you're talking about. There's this funny night where you were talking with a guy. He said he was a oh, gosh. An, uh, anesthesiologist. Yes. So you're like, okay, and that's like. Oh, yeah. I asked him, what's his favorite thing to numb? Yeah. yeah. And Katie, this medical girl, she's like, you don't, it's where they just 
like make you unconscious. They don't numb like certain parts. Oh, of the body. so I get um, which I don't think most people know, but it was just funny because I think the guy yeah. was too nice, and you're like, which part? And the guy was like, I just, I just like anesthetize them. And you're Dang, like, I didn't have like, that wrong. Which limb, dude? And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I luckily happen. I don't think I harp too much on that. No, you I, didn't. yeah, because you're just like it. the whole body. I was like, all right. <laughs> Pervert. No. Uh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> I forgot about that. I mean, it is risky when I'm talking to people who sure, I don't you know, know what any of these jobs are. Accountant, huh? All right. So. What's your favorite meal to cook? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Lumbar support, huh? Yeah. For the lower back a lot. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah. I didn't even catch that. But yeah, that's wow. definitely wrong. Yeah. That's yeah, that's when they knock you out to do like wisdom teeth mm -hmm. stuff. All right. That's good. Yeah. I... What else have I gotten wrong? That's it. Well, last night I, and it was so typical. It seemed stereotypical. I was talking to an attorney and he just would not give me any information, which was the most attorney thing possible. He was just like, no. Plead the fifth. Yeah. yeah wow. You know yourself. Saying the bare minimum, like he was on trial in front of me. I was like, I'm... I'd like to have my attorney present for you. <laughs> yeah. He just wouldn't give me anything. So that was kind of a bummer, but I say some slightly inaccurate things on stage and people seem to be okay with it. Like I talk about how people used to die of diarrhea, but I've Googled that and it's actually still a pretty common problem. A lot of people in America still are dying of diarrhea. People still have diarrhea? They still have it. Can oh, you believe yeah. that? Yeah. I was Googling it and... You can still like, get it. Am I... I thought I had a problem. We all still get it. Yeah. I That's thought there was no, a vaccine I think, for this. I think... I think we should be one of the premier misinformation like, <laughs> entertainers. Just That's make what stuff they do. Up. Yeah. They go up there. It's kind of a trivia thing. It's a thing. hot like, thing right now. What's true? What's false? Is it funny? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> make yourself up. That's truly where like, like, yeah, I'll go to a comedy show or, or I'll perform and afterwards I'll get to see friends. And they're, of course, like being so encouraging. They're like, this is crazy to see you up there doing this. And I'm like, I agree. Because I am an yeah. idiot. How am I up here? How do I have this opportunity? I don't even know what I'm doing. You know, like I can't believe I'm making all these people laugh. This Bigger idiots. I just re remember this. We had a weird, weird thing in Arkansas too. They wanted us to like pause the show to like arrest people and kick them out. Yeah, I don't know if you wanted to talk about that or not. It we was didn't really so know what happened. Bad. We kept the show going, and then I got an Insta story after. I guess it was two. Looked like two young girls. They were refusing to put their masks on. This place was like wear your mask, but you know, I was on stage. No one in the audience. They're they're doing the chin diapers. Yeah, no one's wearing their no mask. But I guess they made a point. You know, I'm sure some people they're like, wear your mask, and people go, okay, and then they take it off. But they were like, we are f freedom fighters. We don't and want we to. Will not. And then they're like, all right, let's get the police involved. We're gonna arrest you. I don't. And uh, but we didn't know any of that. We were told there was a belligerent drunk man at the front of the show. Yeah, little se little sexist. They're like, we yeah. gotta pick this drunk guy out. It was two little cute girls who were freedom fighters. <laughs> and it's funny. I was like ma making fun of the crowd. I was like, none of y'all have masks on. And then some people like, when I make some of those comments, some people are like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. okay, this is not. I'm not trying to invigorate a yeah, crowd. I'm not trying to like. We're not going to the Capitol later. Attack the security. Attack the, you know, <laughs> calm down. I don't, I'm not making the rules around here. It's so funny, man. Yeah. So in between Lucas, our opener, and me, they're like, don't go on stage. We have to wait for the police to come. And I was like, how long will that be? I'm like, we don't know. We don't know. So it's I'm like, all right. Good thing stand-up comedy isn't already a terrifying thing to do. I'll just <laughs> wait for an unknown amount of time until I go perform. Right. I mean, the, don't worry. A comedy show, if if there's a, a chaotic arrest in the middle of the <laughs> venue, it shouldn't affect everyone's energy at all. So let's just hang tight. The police kind of wait for the scene. The Arkansas get, police, they'll should be here within an hour. I'm sure these two girls moving. who are already putting up a fight for not wearing a piece of nylon on their face will go out easy. I'm sure yeah. they'll go out without a fight. So just hang, hang tight. And we're just going to kind of suck all the energy out of the room uh, for about 20, 30 minutes. And then you go up there and be funny. Again. Was it tight when you went back up there? The first four to five minutes felt uncomfortable. Yeah, it was like, like this is weird. People are still coming back from the restroom. Like no one is even in their seat. I was talking to my buddy after because we paused and like played music. I, my buddy after said he overheard someone be like, "They're just trying to sell merch." <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what sucks. People are like, "God, this guy, yeah, oh, he's pushing the merch hard." Like, no, they're I don't know what's happening. And I was talking to my dad about it, and he made a good point. He's like, "I'm sure a lot of people thought like, oh, there's an intermission. All right, when we come back from intermission, here comes Trey." Right. And then it's like, "All right, give it up for your next comedian, some other guy you don't know." And they're like, <laughs> "Oh gosh." Uh -huh. <laughs> And then, of course, and which I agreed, you and I talked about it. And it's like, when I go up there, I need to address it. I can't just be like, mm -hmm. just go on like, yep, this is normal. We always do a 20-minute intermission with just weird music. Did you get your merch? 
It's good so merch. I'm trying to address the situation, but I don't even know what happened. So I'm like, we had to wait for like, you know, some police to come, you know, whatever. I'm trying to make it funny and it's not going well anyway. And uh, oh, I'm just sure, sure it was not an ideal scenario, but it's it all, I redeemed myself on the internet. So we're fine. All good. Um, it was a memorable show. Mm-hmm. And now we get Wichita tonight. Which Todd and I, baby. Um, non- non-profit tomorrow for you. Should we, do some, should we do a segment or two? It's been too long. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? Spoken word up. Spoken word up. Good. Okay. It's time. Okay. Been too long. Um, Background here, music I'm gonna or? Find, I'm going to find some music. Acapel. Okay. You. Okay. Let oh, me wait, we need the up. cord. <clears throat> uh, I'll just, we'll just old school it. Okay. I have, not to brag, but I have a new Mac. The speaker. Oh, that's right. Is Good speaks. Loud. Good speaks. I love how the Mac, they put so much time and effort into like the m1 chip is faster i'm just like the speaker's loud <laughs> they definitely made the speakers bigger. yeah that part's cool um okay your word is wait, what should your word be something some uh and do with the podcast your word is um jews no 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 <laughs> <It's> <laughs> immediately kidding, no no that doesn't pilgrims Okay, pilgrims. Yeah, there's a, that's fine. Ah, that's great. Yeah, it's still a kid. What, so why, why can we make fun? Are pilgrims pilgrims are extinct? I believe they went out with the dodo birds mm, uh, around, the yeah, same around the same Mesozoic era. I yeah, think. Yeah, that's true. That the ice there wasn't friendly <laughs> to them. I'm truly trying to get into misinformation podcast. Just how much can yeah. I say wrong? <laughs> yeah, just yeah. No, that is true. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the definitely pilgrims, true. Them and the dodos. Didn't last. <laughs> no, that part. Yeah. I want to start doing that more. It's not harmful misinformation. It's just very trivial, surface level misinformation. And I, how come that's our new shtick? Dodo birds seem so cool, and pilgrims. Why, <laughs> why couldn't they last? But they, we, cockroaches have been around for six hundred million yeah. years. Come Those on, things are impressive. There's plenty of things that I wish we didn't have. I mean, snakes in general. I would give me give me a million dodo birds over one snake. You know, I miss the dodos and the pilgrims. Both had scrawny legs, and I miss that about them. Mm. And the dinosaurs. What's I'd, your theory on the dinosaurs? Um, Actually, no. Don't give me a theory. Tell me what happened what with the hap- dinosaurs. Oh, I was yeah, gonna say, I'll tell you what happened. Um, they never existed, Jake. Now we're talking. Um, so that I agree because be, because you look at the dimensions of Noah's Ark, and a T Rex could have never fit on there. And right, um, I think the some people say the Earth is what billions of years old. Some mm. say it's about six thousand years old. Uh-huh. It's actually it's about five hundred thousand years old. Okay, mm-hmm. somewhere in between. Uh, <laughs> somewhere in between. It's that's what people don't realize. Yeah, you don't hear that stance very mm-hmm. often. About, right. About five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at some stuff. I read a couple but articles because years back then, years were longer. And they oh, become... it, it took a little longer to get around the sun. Mm-hmm. And then as the sun got bigger, we started well, going it took, faster. It, it took longer for the sun to go around us. Sorry, yeah. I totally misspoke. Again, that's my fault. People, Galileo it, kind of screwed us with that. Yeah. That is actually the heliocentric model was way off. Yeah, no, I get it. Because I'm I'm not big on the moon landing. I'm big on yes, we did land on the moon with the dinosaurs. That's where they're at now. Yeah. Mm. That's why we that's why we don't want to go back. Like, why we not... on, yeah, I'm sorry. They never existed on Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we agree on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we were like, wow, we went to the moon in sixty seven and haven't been back. That's weird. <laughs> There's T Rexes there. It wouldn't yeah. be safe. We get us out of here. I don't want to go there. Why do you think Elon's trying to go to Mars? Yeah. It's where the dodos are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're cute pleasant birds. We're skipping. Bring back the, moon. the pilgrims. Yeah. All right. Well, that got me in the right headspace to Good. talk about pilgrims. pilgrims. We'll give you a little beat here. Pilgrims. Spoken word up. Okay. Oh, got a little ad for LinkedIn first. This is also funny. It, for some reason, it bothers our buddy Brad that uh, Trey doesn't have YouTube Premium and he still watches the ads. I, I forget that's even a thing. Do you have YouTube Premium? I have like an ad blocker on Google Chrome, so I've never had to like worry about it. Oh. You just get the hat. That sounds easy. Actually, don't, because then that hurts our bottom line. Yeah, big, Everyone, I'm don't get ad, ad blocker guy. plus. Big ad guy. Watch <laughs> the ads. It sounds like a pilgrim or Pocahontas. Okay, sorry. I can't tell what's happening. Okay, okay. All right, I'll just go. <clears throat> what is over there? That land beyond the sea? Will we be the first to arrive? Or could there be remnants of Sacagawe? Let us go. 
in search of new land and spice. Let's go over in some ships covered in feces and mice. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Scurvy. Oh, oh, what a life. <laughs> is that a pilgrim or is that just my ex-wife? <laughs> It's not my ex-wife. She died when she was 11, a year after we, after we were married. <laughs> Doesn't rhyme at all. <laughs> I was getting there. It was going to rhyme with me. Okay, it's all good. There you go, you go. We get to the coast. Wow, India. Oh, wait, what's this? You know, yeah, still India. <laughs> Could think of a rhyme. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> Ah, oh, India. Lots of bow and arrows. That's fine. What do you say we cook up a couple sparrows? Uh-oh, what's this? They're not going for the sparrows, they're going for my organs. Maybe we could become friends. Or maybe they could... Oh my God, they're killing us! Run, run, there's so much blood! Go, go, Miriam, go! And that has been Pilgrims. Pilgrims. <laughs> My ex-wife died when she was 11. <laughs> oh. It's great. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh, gosh. Thanks for your vulnerability. Thank you. Yeah. I mm -hmm. took everything I knew about those Pilgrims and the movie Pocahontas. So, so all right. Are you going to the same beat? You need yeah, to find I'll, go a new one? I'll go I'll go same beat. <laughs> okay. I'll hold the mic up to it. Trey, um... Your word today is going to be Arkansas. Mm. Go whenever you feel ready, whenever you feel comfortable. Arkansas. They call it Arkansas. Fayetteville, Northwest Arkansas. In W.A. Not the... Let's not call it that anymore. What do you say? <laughs> it's the widest part of the country. Ozark. Female who saves the day. That's my type of heroine. <laughs> Arkansas. Wichita. Going through what they call Meth Valley. <laughs> like Death Valley, not a lot of rainfall here. Not a lot of precipitation. Actually, there's a lot. People are sweating a lot because they're uh, high on narcotics, <laughs> which is a problem we need to solve. Walmart. Headquarters. Arkansas. Who would have thought? One of the biggest countries in the world. Wait. Bezos said, hold my beer. Arkansas said, give that back. We love beer. <laughs> if if, Am if Am Arkansas loves football, Walmart, Amazon is the Alabama of e-commerce. <laughs> You'll never beat them. Arkansas. I like the idea thank of you, Arkansas being like, you can have our supply chain, but don't take my beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give that back. <laughs> you Bezos. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, that, was been, that has been spoken word up. Um, spoken word up. Always beautiful, always informative, and it always rhymes. Always. Always informative. Yep. Take our word for it. Yeah. Thanks, Rectis. Um, yeah, any final... What, what do you got going on this week? I mean, we're just... Uh, we're doing the thing on the road. We're making content, baby. Yeah. We're getting fired up. We're getting fired up for warmer weather. I'm hoping it's coming. We're getting closer. It was. I mean, even today in Wichita, it's like 47. But if you great. get it in the sun when you're, there's no wind, it felt oh, so nice. It felt so nice. Yeah, the standard is lowered for what like I consider warm. Yeah. Ooh, a little picnic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah, getting excited for February to be over already. <laughs> and um, yeah, just finish strong with all these shows. We got a few uh, more here in the next few weeks. And then we have like a month break and then we'll hit it hard again. But yeah. Um, yeah, Tulsa. Austin, Austin and then the Northeast there the for a while. East. Yeah, kind of outside the Northeast. Of Philly, Baltimore, New York. Pilgrim country. Pilgrim country. Mm -hmm. Hey, BYOP to the show, you guys. BYOP. 
you guys know what it is. We'll see you there. Um, yeah, get your tickets. Come hang. We'll see you on the road. And uh, we uh, enjoy, enjoy today's episode. We'll talk to you next week as always. Yeah, thanks for listening, you guys. Peace out. Have a good one. Correct opinion. Correct opinion.